such a wonderful moment to, to see this all come together after s several years of, of planning and work and, and, uh, and finally the instrument is in place and sounding. Uh, but it really was a several year process uh, from uh, visiting the organ builder, deciding what we would have on the organ, uh, how it would be laid out, and then uh, they had to construct it and that took more than a year in their shop to make all the parts and, uh, and um, uh, then bring it all here on trucks and, and literally you know, thousands and thousands of pieces had to be assembled and put in the right place uh, to, to create the instrument you see behind me today. And so it's, it's, uh, it's a long process, but it's so fulfilling when it finally all comes together. Tell me about the significance of this particular instrument to the community, what it means to have something like this on the campus for the students. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a real treat to have a pipe organ in a concert hall. Most people associate the pipe organ with churches, which is also uh, their natural place, I think. But uh, concert halls, uh, many of them do have pipe organs. But if you think about the region, there's no other place real close to us that has one. Madison has one that's, that's about an hour and a half from us. And, um, but uh, I don't believe Des Moines does or even cities larger than, you know, quite a bit larger than Dubuque. So we're really uh, fortunate to have an instrument in a, in a hall like this where we can combine it with choirs and orchestras and uh, different ensembles that might be able to make use of this space with the instrument. a little bit about the recital that you've got coming up that will debut this for the first time to the larger community. Right, I'm playing uh, a recital on Tuesday, April 6th, right after Easter, uh, and featuring the many different sounds of this organ. Um, my audience in person will be just the University of Dubuque community for safety reasons, for health safety, but we're going to live stream it, and I believe it'll be at the same time recorded so that people who might not be available right at the moment it's happening can go back later and view it um, as well. Uh, we're looking forward in the months ahead, of course, to inviting people to come into the hall and experience it, you know, right in the same room. But this will be at least a, an introduction to the organ, to the community, for anyone who wants to uh, uh, view it um, on that Tuesday evening in April. Mm -hmm.